Hello guys, this is the daily news analysis. I'm covering this news analysis for two days combinedly. That is 24th and 25th of March. Guys, the very first news is about diclofenac. Now, why was this a news? First of all, see, because uh, diclofenac is a drug, right? Which is being, you know, used as a painkiller, right? In different animals, all right? And those animals, if they, you know, become dead, then the carcasses also had a amount of these drug that is diclofenac and those carcasses are later being you know taken by these vultures and that's why uh, you know this uh, vultures are getting dead right so this was a big issue that has been seen in past few years that's why the government has banned this drug diclofenac past three years and government though have allowed that uh, whatsoever was the drug left for uh, you know that was being uh, you know manufactured before December 2015 so those drugs were allowed to sale right so this was the basically news and that's why in Assam you know a rare captive breed of vulture uh, the population of those vultures are being seen in declining position but the analyst also analyzes the second fact regarding this is that there is a rampant use of uh, pesticides by the farmers and that's why that is also the reason due to which you know uh, which is indirectly you know in being inserted in the food chain of these vultures and that's why the vultures are getting dead next news is about african continental free trade area guys uh, basically this area this is a you know a kind of a free trade area right and uh, this has been signed by 44 african countries and in the summit that is organized uh, in kigali rwanda and it is said that if this agreement becomes successful then it will be the biggest trade agreement ever after 1995 after the formation of wto that is world trade organization and few countries have not signed it this agreement though but the draft agreement uh, commits the countries whosoever the, is signing this uh, you know draft agreement that they must remove the tariff up to 90 percent of the goods if those goods are being you know transported to these very countries these very african countries and uh, it is also written that uh, you know the rest 10 percent of the sensitive items can be phased out in the later phase right now the agreement will also liberalize service there is a provision of liberalizing of service thing and also that not tariff barriers will be tackled under this which hampers basically the african uh, trade of african countries also there will be enhanced competitiveness at the industry and enterprises level through exploiting opportunity of skill production continental market access and better relocation of resources because see basically african uh, a continent is a continent which is a considered to be a place where the resources are available but the manpower is not that much to actually utilize that resource right now different countries are you know uh, seeing africa as a very gold thing right and countries like uh, you know uh, china have also taken many projects in africa but uh, the african people don't believe in china uh, Chi china just because of the reason that uh, you know china you know they kind of uh, see their own motive much of much than india right india have a soft power image in africa but the china is not having a soft power image china is having kind of you know hard power image in africa right so that's why you know uh, this uh, i mean in future prospects you can analyze this answer by you know writing in your answer that uh, you know in future prospects if uh, this uh, agreement becomes successful then india can also sign some sort of agreement with these 44 countries uh, you know uh, so that our trade could also you know increase at, at future prospects so whatever i mean the kind of see actually this is in a you know middle phase right this has not been uh, up i mean the 100 percent draft is still not out in front of the whole country right so when it will be out then i'll surely be discussing everything with you right so don't worry but still this is just to discuss this is just a kind of analysis with you so that you know you will at least get to remember that okay yeah there was some sort of agreement that has been signed between these african countries right which might become a big revolution i mean after the wto which was been signed in 1995 next uh, news is about kiss to host Commonwealth Big Lunch. Actually, KISS, the full form of KISS is Kalinga Institute of Social Science, right? So it is situated at Bhuvaneshwar, and it is being said that in the partnership with British Council, India is hosting the Commonwealth Big Lunch. And why this is organized? Because the British Council this year will be celebrating 70 year of the inception of Commonwealth, right? 
because uh, it was formally constituted in the year 1949 under the london declaration right so that's why the british council is you know organizing this event under which you know it is being said that all the commonwealth countries will be connected through this food right so you know the food will be kind of distributed different in different countries so yeah and let's see about commonwealth guys so what is commonwealth it is a voluntary association of 53 independent and equal sovereign countries just see the location of these all 53 countries right and uh, it op it is operated by the intergovernmental consensus of the member state the member countries are supported by a network of more than 80 intergovernmental civil society cultural and professional organization and the last countries to join the commonwealth was rwanda they have joined in the year 2009 see this last point is for just for the prelims purpose because they might ask you the give will give you this type of statement right so just remember and make a note of it in your notebook right and yeah don't forget to just uh, you know uh, follow this facebook page yeah anyways next is uh, qwet central region again this is uh, news that is coming from africa and uh, just see the location of the qwet central region guys so it is the world's largest tropical peatland that is situated in congo basin now what is peatland it is a kind of wetland right which is kind of, uh, which contains a mixture of decomposed organic matter okay partially submerged in uh, that is being partially submerged in the layer of water and that area is usually lacking or oxygen but that area has a huge content of carbon right now the news was that uh, this uh, for protection of this qwet central region a braza villa declaration has been signed between three countries that is democratic republic of congo democratic uh, republic of congo and uh, Indonesia right and they have jointly signed this Brazzaville declaration in order to promote the better management or conservation of this globally important carbon stored region that is Kuwait central region now this uh, this from this very news only you are getting 4 to 5 MCQs they might ask you uh, recently Kuwait central region was in news right so where it is actually located there will be four continent next they can ask recently Brazzaville declaration you news right so what is it right and uh, next they can use uh, you ask you what is about peatland right so these are kind of question they can ask you and uh, also guys since it is a peatland and peatland is a kind of wetland as as i've already discussed you with you in fact so you will get to know the importance of this region because this might prove to be i mean this e will prove to be a region of home of variety of species right and just because of the reason that this region has a high carbon content then it makes them uniquely vulnerable to incineration right if that region is drained and that is what the actually concern is next uh, news is regarding chandrayaan actually the recent report has confirmed that uh, the launch of chandrayaan 2 will be done by this october this year that is 2018 october right so let's see about this uh, news chandrayaan see basically uh, see chandrayaan is the second mission of india first mission was chandrayaan 1 right so in chandrayaan 1 we have you know launched just an orbiter right and it is a orbiter is a kind of vehicle which just orbits the moon all right and just give the data to us but this time in chandrayaan 2 we will launch an orbiter hai na through that orbiter one you know land lander will be sent to this moon surface which will land the surface of the moon right and from this lander a vehicle will you know come out that is called rover right and this rover will you know roam around the surface of moon now this time in chandrayaan 2 mission why it is very much importance to the for the world see up till now many expeditions has been done in the surface of moon right this is uh, it is very known fact now the southern region has not been much of explored right so india is sending this uh, lander and rover in this region right and it is speculated that since this region is not being you know that much explored so the rover is going to send us huge information from this region right so this is that is what the main news is next is about earth hour 2018 now earth hour 2018 is mainly observed on the march 20 or 24 uh, from the 8:30 to 9:30 pm right and it is a part and parcel of green good deed movement in which each and every individual is you know requested to you know give a small or voluntary uh, contribution for the uh, cause of environment right 
though this earth hour uh, is being celebrated from the year 2007 and this event is organized in world by the worldwide uh, world wildlife fund and it basically promotes conserves and uh, promote and conservation and su of sustainable energy and during this time civilians are requested to you know switch off their uh, you know electricity connections for one hour and it is a kind of indication to them that uh, if you are switching out of for one hour then you are you know paying your bit for the you know cause of this global warming right as well as it is a kind of raising awareness in front of all the citizens that you know in future prospects also whenever we see that uh, you know without any purpose that light is on or anywhere electric connection is given so we should switch it off and all right so in india worldwide fund india has made a strong pitch for give up to give back now what is this it is an initiative which inspired different organization different institutions as well as individuals to make the choice to curb some habits practices and lifestyle that burdens our life and environment it include taking steps like give up sing, uh, use of plastic right giving up fossil fuel usages use, using of lonely car rides and also giving up e-waste so these are few of the criteria under this give up to give back right next is about uh this nai punya ratham see guys this is nai punya ratham right it is recently launched by andhra pradesh government and it is also set to be the world on wheels as you can see here it is written world on wheels right so it is a multi-utility vehicles which aims to bring technology to the remotest corner corner of the world because we you know that every government of India means different from every government of states, and has the you know uh, motive that they will make their citizens empowered. Not only the uh, shahri citizen empowered, but also those citizens who are belonging from villages, right? So uh, under that, you know, this is a kind of initiative that is Nai Purnia Ratham. Now, it, it under bef uh, I mean, inside this uh, bus, you know, there will be facilities of this computers and all, right? Now through these computers, the uh, it will basically facilitate the improvement of digital literacy among the you know village people. The digital skills will be enhanced for them, and there will also be awareness regarding the various governmental schemes that is being running for them, right? So it is indeed a very good uh, initiative by uh, by the Andhra Pradesh government, which you can actually analyze the thing and you if this sort of questions are being is being asked in mains paper also right in gs questions like a few of the backward area how those can be improved right so these kind of you know you can write the point that you know on the lines of uh, nai punya ratham that has been introduced by the andhra pradesh government the different other governments must also work on these aspects right uh, and if they are doing then it will be very the cost benefit analysis i mean uh, cost to benefit ratio is very high right so these kind of thing you can actually write Next uh, news is about the first Indian Sign Language Dictionary of 3000 word has been launched. See, this is the first uh, sign language dictionary. That's why it is very much important for your prelims perspective, right? Because any sort of first things are very much important. And as per the census of 2011, the data we have is that deaf and speech disabled people are 50 lakh deaf people are there in India and 19, uh, you know, lakh around speech disabled people are there in India, right? So that's why this uh, first Indian sign language is uh, dictionary is being has been launched just to empower these deaf people, right? Because in constitution it is written that you know for every citizens of India, they he or she have the right to speech and opportunity of freedom for expression, right? But they couldn't do that just because of the reason that the God has taken this power of hearing from them, right? So it is a kind of help from the government itself so that you know government could make sure that okay. You know, from our end, whatever is being possible from our side, then we'll do for them, right? And uh, the dictionary has been developed by Indian Sign Language Research and Training Center, which is under the Department of Empowerment of, of Person with Disabilities, that is falling under Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, right? Next is about Okla Bird Century. Now, the foundation stone for the redevelopment and upgradation of Okla Bird Century was recently laid, and that's why this was in news basically. Now, the location of uh, this Okla Bird Century is falling in the border region of New Delhi and uh, you know Uttar Pradesh, right? So you can just very much determine that where it might actually fall, right? Just make a you know assumption in your mind because if they you know often ask you that you know. Okla bird century was often seen in news, right? So where in which location it is located, right? So they will give you four options: Jammu Kashmir, Assam, China. Uh, sorry, not uh, Andhra Pradesh, and uh, 
you know this uh, uttar pradesh so so of course you can make a very well guess that you know it will be in uttar pradesh right so yeah it is a home to th around 32 species of reptiles seven species of amphibians 186 plant species as well as the main attraction are the kind of birds that visits there right not only migratory birds but also you can find huge uh, you know quantity of residents birds over here right and it is one of the major center of attraction for tourists also right so you know that's why the redevelopment and upgradation work is being done right here so that's why this was in news next news about center to ease uh, access to border area with an eye on tourism see basically the state governments have asked the central requested the central government right and what is the request they have made see they have made the request that earlier the under the prote uh, protected area permit regime right so a uh, usually any tourist used to have permits they used to get perm they have to get permit in order to visit some of the you know uh, strategic border areas right so that's why the several state governments like the state government of arunachal pradesh himachal pradesh sikkim uttarakhand nagaland manipur so they have requ requested as well as tourism ministry has also requested many of ministry of home affairs to look into this matter of protected area regime so that if this is getting liberalized then the you know the tourism could be increased in the, on those region right so that's why ministry of home affairs has said that okay we are taking a lenient view on this right and but it will not be done for all the border areas right some border areas are still there which are very much important for your uh, you know uh, you can say to be the uh, national uh, security perspective right it is those are very much important so those will be you know untouched right so but whatever possible it will be done by the ministry of home affairs and for this just remember one thing guys that the citizens from different uh, countries like afghanistan china and pakistan they have to you know if they want to take this permit then they have to consult the ministry of home affairs then only they will be given permit but otherwise for other different countries tourist and you know indian localites you know you can get this permit in a very easy manner right also uh, one different other fact was given under this article was that under the foreigners protection protected area order 1958 all area which is falling between the inner line and the international border of the uh, state have been declared as protected area right so this is a kind of protected area definition that which are the area which is fall and under which order so just remember this also if you at all want to but this is a i mean quite hardcore type of uh, you know factual thing so i don't think that you know these are that much important but remember whatever is being important i uh, my work is to deliver it to you and i usually deliver it to you through this facebook page right so don't forget to follow this facebook page and one more thing guys just tell me what just give me one suggestion that uh, you know uh, i'm just planning to you know switch off this english lecture right and i'm trying i'm planning so that i could mix this english as well as hindi lecture together right so will it be fine for you guys like if i'll just carry out in totally hindi language but in that what i'll do for the english people who cannot uh, you know understand hindi is that i will read out these all thing in hindi as well as english means both the languages will be covered simultaneously that's guarantee right and the thing is that if say for example normal video takes a time span of say 15 minutes then since i am taking both the languages extra ordinary then you know might be 4 to 5 minutes might be increased so like are you guys comfortable with this just write in the comment section below and don't try to forget to you know follow this facebook page and yeah next is okay guys yeah as i told you that this facebook page don't forget to like and regarding the newcomers who are for the first time watching this video for them a very important information is that that uh, guys a governmental schemes compilation i've made right so the link of those i'm giving in the description below now what type of compilation is this see in the prelims paper right you are being asked different governmental schemes that's for sure right at least two to three governmental schemes is directly asked right and indirectly if you take then at least you know five to six questions you will be getting in the question paper for sure right so that's why you can you know very much determine the you know importance of these kind of governmental schemes right now you will ne nowhere find this kind of governmental scheme compilation at a single end compilation in the sense what i have done is that 
I've taken different ministries and different whatsoever was the news there was being in news I mean the scheme, governmental schemes was being news past one year so those every things have compiled under one single single lessons say for example ministry of women and child development so all the governmental schemes of women and child development has been covered in single or two lesson maximum right but they are together right they are not segregated so that's why this will be very much helpful to you so if you at all want to so go look into that and also I've made a free course in economic survey 2018 so if you also want to access that also then also you know i'm just giving the link below in the description so you can do everything and if you you know want to access everything at a single platform then this is the facebook page where you actually should follow it right because here i post all the important very very important materials whatsoever is being very much important for your exams perspective right so yeah just do it guys and yeah this is also the telegram link for free pdfs download so if you at all want to you can do it also so yeah we'll meet in next class guys till then bye bye take care and thank you for listening to the video guys thank you very much